What's up guys? Um, probably no one noticed, but yesterday I didn't publish a video and I actually decided that I don't want to keep the daily vlog going as a daily thing because I think that was the reason that actually got me to kind of like have burnout, burn, burnout? Is that the word? Or didn't want to do it anymore um, because I felt like I needed to do it every day and sometimes there's just nothing going on in a day and then I'm just coming up with something random that I don't really believe in and I don't really care about and I'm saying these things that I don't really believe in or care about and that makes me not want to do it. So I'm gonna publish a lot of videos just like I used to um, but just not daily. I'm going to post a video whenever I have something that I wanted to talk about or want to share or that is on my mind and I want to put it out there. I don't know what frequency that will result in. I'm guessing maybe three to four times a week um, and it will still be very raw. Just put it out there. Um, but it will not be daily anymore. Um, but yeah, I was on the weekend. I was with Anastasia meeting some of her friends and her parents well i met her mom but i now also met her stepdad um that was really fun um i think it went well i think i mean i said that her mom i think likes me i think her stepdad also kind of likes me um so we w visited them at their summer house and holy shit that was so gorgeous and we're going to spend there thursday and friday i think again and um, i just had the opportunity to read and yeah, just hang out there. And then we also spend the weekend with her friends, I think, yeah, with an old college friend of Anastasia. And we spend it at their house. Actually, not their house, but their parents' house. And so we slept there for one night and we had barbecue and we, you know, hung out. And they have a daughter who's called Anastasia, little Nastia. And um, I hung out with her and that was fun. We had a dance off and all of that. Um, and looking at, so little Anastasia is two years old. And um, I realized something while observing her. And it's that, you know how we generally make a big difference between consumption and creating? Like there's time you spend either creating something or there's time you consume something. And that generally speaking, consumption is considered bad and creating is considered good. Um, and also, generally speaking, um, creating is associated with work, with output, and consumption is associated with leisure or, you know, just hanging out, um, watching TV. Um, and we make this big difference and we, you know, judge um, based on that, like how much time are you spending creating and how much time are you spending consuming. And then I looked at little Anastasia, little Nastia, and um, she doesn't give a shit. She does what she wants to do. And if you, if you observe like a two-year-old or, you know, a kid, a five-year-old or whatever, like they just seemingly transition between creating and consuming. Like in one moment, you know, they're, they're watching a little bit of TV or they're like, driving with their bike around or they're like playing a game on their iPad or iPhone or whatever. And then in the next moment they go to the sandbox and they build, you know, some, some things in the sandbox or then they go and play some Lego and build a car or build a tower as high as that can get. And like, you know, watching TV or playing games on the iPad that consumption and then going to the sandbox and you know building something or going to the lego and building something with lego that's creating but like for her like it's all the same it's all play it's all fun it's all she does it because she wants to like she doesn't sit there and like watch tv and then it's like oh you know what i watched for two hours tv now i should probably go and create something and then you know being like oh no i gotta stop you know, watching TV and now I gotta work. It's like, no, like she watches TV and then she's like, oh, look, now I wanna play some Lego and, and build some tower or, you know, do something and build something or, you know, play with my soft toys and build a house or castle with my pillows and blankets. And like, it's just all play. That's the only thing. And I think 
we can learn a lot from that because that's the ideal state. You don't have to judge between creating and consuming. Just do whatever feels like play. And I think naturally we will at some point when we like watch videos or Netflix, at some point we're like, now I just feel the urge to like create something, to like write an article or to like play around with some music and see if I can do something or like edit a video or like do something, you know? And so, yeah, that just stood out to me a lot. A two year old doesn't give a shit about creating and consuming. It just cares about play. That's the overarching thing. Anyway, so care more about playing and finding the things that feel like play. You know, what feels like play versus what feels like work. Your ideal work is not supposed to feel like work. I don't think I'm there yet, but like I'm trying to take notice of what are the things that I'm doing that, you know, after I'm done, I'm just like, that was fun. And then what are the things that I'm just dragging through them and feel like work. So that's the video. Thank you for watching and then see you in the next one. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot. But why now? Holy shit. I just want to make a trip to the child.